What you looking at? Mother Goose's clothes. Mm -hmm. I've got Mother Goose's glasses. <laughs> Let's see if I've got her face. So I suppose I really am Mother Goose. Oh, we knew it all the time. <laughs> oh, I'm Mother Goose, and I'm here to say that I love to talk in rhyme. I've been around for many, many years for a very, very long time. I've been around for many, many years, for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> now, what is a rhyme, you ask? What is a rhyme, you say? Rhyming words will sound the same, like fiddle and diddle, name and game, like rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a tub. I like to talk in rhyme. <laughs> now some of my rhymes are funny, and some are for sleepy time, and others talk about like the sheep in Little Bo Peep. Like sugar and spice and three blind mice, I like to talk in rhyme. Oh, I'm Mother Goose and I'm here to say that I love to talk in rhyme. I've been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. I've been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. Oh, Mother yeah. Goose, would you please recite one of your rhymes for us? Please, 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 please. <coughs> Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. 
fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Oh, that was, that was really oh, I just love rhymes about birds. <laughs> Speaking of birds, where did Clarence go? Who is Clarence? Oh, Clarence is my goose. A very large goose. And I ride on his back when I fly through the air. Wow! We were flying to the library just now to take them another copy of my book. But then Clarence heard something going honk, honk. Like this? Honk, honk. What's that? Just like that. Anyway, I guess Clarence thought it was another goose honking because down he flew. Now I don't know where to find him. Well, he was here just a minute ago. But then he flew away. Oh, well, I'm sure he'll be back soon. But I did so want to get to the library. But we've got a library right here. See? Right there. It's a very nice one, too. But this is your classroom library. I wanted to go to the big public library. I've never been to that library. Oh, at the public library, there are whole rooms full of books about all sorts of things. Ooh, and what fun you can have with those books, little boy. Oh, why, with one of those books and a little imagination, you can do just about anything. <laughs> You can have an adventure in a faraway land. You can learn about a tuba in a marching band. You can travel to the stars or the deep blue sea when you learn to borrow books from the library. But please, don't be loud so that everyone here can read. You will be proud when you take a book home from the library. You can have an adventure in a faraway land. But please, don't be loud, so that everyone here can read. Oh, the public library is one of my absolutely favorite places to go. <laughs> yes. And I must take my book there so the children can borrow it. I hope Clarence comes back soon. Maybe he flew to the library to get some books. <laughs> Oh, I don't think so, dear, because Clarence is a goose. A and a goose doesn't have a library card. And you must have a library card to borrow books from the library. I don't have one either. Neither do I. What? No library cards? Well, we must do something about that right now. Oh, oh, oh look at that. <laughs> Pick a card, any card. <laughs> now all you have to do is write your names on the card. There's some markers you can use. I know how to write my name. Oh, that was a tight fit. <laughs> My name is almost too big for the card. And what if your name really was too big to fit? Oh, you mean a big name like Ichabod Q. Funny Bone? Even bigger. <laughs> you mean a bigger one like Cindy, mm -hmm. Mindy, oh. Windy, oh. McGillicuddy? <laughs> Even bigger. I mean the biggest name of all. I know which name you're thinking of. I think I do too. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. His name is my name too. Whenever I go out, the people always shout. There goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Da -da -da -da. Try our library voices a little bit softer. John Jacob 
Jingle Heinrich Schmidt, his name is my name too. Whenever I go out, the people always shout, there goes John Jingle, Jingle Heinrich Schmidt, da 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 no, let's be even more quiet in our make-believe life. John Jacob Jingle Heimer Schmidt, his name is my name too. Whenever I go out, the people always show. There goes John Jacob Jingle Heimer Schmidt. Da 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 da. Oh, oh, oh. Well, sometimes it's fun to be loud, but now let's use our very quietest library voices. John Jacob Jingle Heimer Schmidt. visiting you and your friends. Oh, and it's always fun reading your nursery rhymes, Mother Goose. Sure is, Mother Goose. Thank you, dears. And you know, my goose Clarence just loves these rhymes, too. Wherever he is. Hey, I've got an idea. Oh, I always like hearing Derek's ideas. <laughs> Since Clarence loves Mother Goose rhymes, maybe he'll come back if he hears them. Yeah, that's an extra, extraordinary idea. <laughs> Right now. Yeah. We will have so much fun. I just know Clarence will come back. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now listen carefully and do what I do. Okay. Hurry up. <laughs> this is the way the ladies ride. Trippity trip, trippity trip. This is the way the ladies ride. Trippity, trippity, trip. This is the way the gentlemen ride. Gallop a trot, gallop a trot. This is the way the gentlemen ride. Gallop a gallop a trot. This is the way the farmers ride. Hobble they hoy, hobble they hoy. This is the way the farmers ride. Hobble they hobble they hoy. Oh, 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 <laughs> Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went, and everywhere that Mary went. Come back again if we do some more rhymes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirit Barney? Oh, 
When you're feeling down, you just have to build yourself right back up again. <laughs> and that reminds me of another rhyme. Is it one we know? Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> we do know this. It's London Bridge. <laughs> London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. Build it up with silver and gold, my fair lady. Time. The library will be closing soon, and I do want to take my book there. I hope Clarence will come back soon. <laughs> Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we are. should tip all this time. <laughs> tip around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Now I know all of you know how to skip, so... Skip around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Okay now, let's be bunnies and hop around the rosy. Hop around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. All right, catch your breath, because it's time to run. Run around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Oh, my goodness. I feel so good down here. I might just take a nap. Well, maybe I should read some of your bedtime rhymes, then. <laughs> maybe you should. Maybe we all should. Oh, good idea. <laughs> it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head. <laughs> and couldn't get up in the morning. Starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight, I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish, I wish tonight. Wee Willy Winky runs through the town. <laughs> Upstairs and downstairs <laughs> in his nightgown. Rapping at the window, crying through the lock. Are the children in their beds? For now, it's eight. Look, look. <laughs> diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off, the other shoe on. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John. Clarence 
watch the goose to come down. I'm sorry, Mother Goose. Now, now, you all tried your very best. And I thank you very much. I guess the children at the library will just have to wait until tomorrow for my book. I don't think so. Why is that, Derek? Because I have a really big idea about how we could get Clint. But we'll all have to work together. Okay. Okay, Sean. Start honking like you did in the classroom. And we'll do the rest. Okay. Honk, honk. Honk, honk! 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 Honk, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Oh, we had a super deep duper time today when we got a visit from Clarence the Goose and from our good friend Mother Goose. <laughs> Mother Goose was taking her book of rhymes to the library for children to borrow. You can borrow books if you put your name on a library card, just as Sean did. We tried to bring Clarence back by telling lots of Mother Goose rhymes, like To Market, To Market, <laughs> and Humpty Dumpty. We found fun games in Mother Goose's book, like London Bridge and Ring Around the Rosie. And I got to use my imagination to make believe that I was Wee Willy Winky. <laughs> 
We had such a good time, it's no wonder that Clarence came back to Mother Goose. And you can have fun like that, too, with Mother Goose's book or lots of other books from the library. You're going to love the library, and I love you.